In this video, we're looking at my workflow of taking a simple reference image like this and using it with Seadream 4 to create 4K resolution product images like these. All right, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Thomas. I make videos about product photography and AI. A couple of videos back, I compared Now Banana to Seadream 4. And at the time of making that video, I didn't have a lot of experience using Seadream. After finishing up that video, I felt that I might have have to look into Seadream 4 a bit more in order to see what it's actually capable of. And that's what this video is all about. For the examples for this video, we're gonna work with Chance, Chanel, Perfumes, and I've chosen a couple of different color options. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use those reference images and then create specific product images that matches the colors of the bottle. If you've been watching my channel before, you know that I use ChatGPT or something to help me brainstorm the prompt for the images that I create. And this time I actually took it a step further. I went into ChatGPT and used the deep research function that's available. Now with the deep research function, I asked ChatGPT to find information on how to prompt Nano Banana and Seadream 4 in the best possible way for product images. And then what ChatGPT is going to do, it's gonna search the internet and give you back a detailed report of the best ways to prompt these models. When I got this long report and information back from ChatGPT, I then put that information into a PDF document and then I used the project feature within ChatGPT where you can upload a document to ChatGPT where it will follow the instructions in your discussions you go with the model. So in this way we have now created a ChatGPT version that has the full understanding of the optimal way to prompt these models and you can add up to five five files in this project feature within ChatGPT. So if there's specific stuff that you find that you think would be useful for ChatGPT to know when creating these prompts, then you can simply add that to the project later. If you don't want to do this for yourself and just want to download the document that I created, then it's linked in the video description below. Now the next step would be to create the prompts themselves. And here you have a few options. You can either just talk with ChatGPT and send it the reference photo of your product and describe what type of vision you have and what type of image you want to create. Or you can also take inspiration from other images. For example, go on the internet or Pinterest and find inspiration for images that you like. And instead of taking that image and just putting it directly into the image model, which I wouldn't advise doing because that's kind of copying others work directly, you can take that image and ask ChatGPT to break it down into an image prompt. Now this way you get a description of the scene that will result in a similar image but not a carbon copy of the image that you took inspiration from. But enough blabbering and now let's get into the examples and results that we created. Quick pause in the action right here. If you're a one-man show and make videos like me and want to up your video game, you're gonna wanna check this out. Submagic is a tool that helps you add captions in many different languages. It helps you trim, remove silences and filler words and even add B-roll and auto zooms to your videos. So for someone like me that's a one-man show and want to make videos more effectively, this is a great tool to help you up your video game but also save you editing time. For example, when you see my videos on YouTube, it might look polished and that I can speak without messing up all the time, but that's not the case. I mess up my lines all the time and having a tool like Submagic that can cut out the silences and the filler words is a real game changer if you want to create more content more effectively. So if you want to get your videos seen by more people on many platforms without manual editing hours and captioning, check out the link in the description below and thank you to Submagic for sponsoring this video. I'm using Seadream 4 here over at Higgsfield, which gives you a couple of options when using the model. You have the option to choose between high quality or standard quality and we're of course gonna use the high quality because that gives you the most crisp and best resolution on the images that you create. Then you have the option to choose between a lot of different aspect ratios and you can also choose how many generations you want per prompt that you use. This video is not sponsored by Higgsfield but I think I have a discount code that will give you 10% off 
Higgs field if you want to use Seadream over on their platform. So starting with this pink version of the Chance Chanel perfume, I found a reference image that I really liked and wanted to recreate in a similar way but with my own twist. So I brought that into ChatGPT and made it describe it and break it down into an image prompt. And this is the final prompt that I used along with this reference image and here are the results that we got. Now looking at these results, I have to say that this is next level quality and I'm very impressed with what Seadream is actually capable of delivering in terms of product consistency and the quality of the environment. Now because Seadream is capable of producing 4K resolution images, it really nails the feeling of a real photo in the details of the ice cubes and the liquid and even how the glass bottle is half submerged in the liquid itself. Also looking at the text it seems that it nailed the label perfectly but of course here is something to note that this label is very simple and from my experience Seadream has a bit more problems if the label includes more complex text or small text boxes that it needs to figure out but the accuracy is still very impressive. Next up was this purple version of the perfume and for this one I wanted it to be placed on a beach with purple sand and kind of this orange uh, sunset tones coming in from the side and this is the prompt I used along with the reference image and here are the results we got. So as you can see again the product accuracy is very on point and even the light from the sun going through the bottle shimmering gives it a really nice effect so this was a really good result in my opinion. And something to note here is that of course these aren't just one-off results that you get immediately when you first generate an image. It takes a couple of tries and you might have to tweak some things in the prompts in order to get it in the direction that you want. Now for this next orange version of the perfume I felt that it gives kind of this fresh fruity drink vibe so I thought a fun way to display it would be to include it in a set where somebody is actually making a drink so we took inspiration from this image and asked ChatGPT to break it down into an image prompt so here is the prompt we used and here is the results it came up with Now in this one what impressed me the most was the way it included also the shadows of the leaves above on top of the product itself so it really looks like the product is actually in that scene. And again the product consistency is really good and what's nice about this that you can generate in one aspect ratio and then just switch the aspect ratio and keep everything the same and get a new image that is photographed in landscape or portrait or whatever aspect ratio you want. So so you have many different versions for different use cases. And for the final example we have this green version that I thought would be perfect in this type of setting that I found an inspiration image and then I again asked ChatGPT to break it down into a prompt and just replacing the glass with the product itself and this is the prompt we're gonna use along with this reference image and here are the results. So again, the lighting is very good, the reflections look realistic, the product really looks like it's in the scene and even the scaling of the product looks correct. I also like how Seadream actually placed the flowers on top of the product in some of the images so it really blends the elements perfectly together in a natural way that really looks professional. Now like I mentioned sometimes Seadream messes up and it's not perfect right away so you might have to generate a couple of times in order to get something that's actually usable but this is a kind of interesting also workflow. It's not taking photos of a product, it's tweaking the prompt and generating more variations so you slowly get something that is in line with what your vision is and what you want the model to create. Then finally you might have to do some slight touch up by replacing some text in the image if 
every single detail isn't perfect but it's getting very close to having it perfect almost 90% of the time if your product is just simple enough. But that's it for this video. Please let me know what you thought about CDream 4 and ChatGPT in a team combination like this. And if you like this style of content, please consider subscribing and I'm really trying to get up to speed to post more regular content on a weekly basis but just have some patience with me and I'll see you in the next one.